Come on, United, let's smash these Geordies up. It might be the Caramel Gas Cup, but we get we better focus on everything that they're in this season because we might not really have much luck when it comes to winning silverware. This might be our best chance yet again. We are the current holders of the Caramel Cup as well, remember. We are the champions when it comes to this competition, so we better defend our title. Come on, United. Game's about to kick off and it has done. Come on then, boys. United get us underway. He's the human version of a cod piece, isn't he? He is a cod piece, this man. So, you know, he covers your love spuds up. He protects your love spuds. He makes your fucking package look about three times as big as it actually is. But you know what? Once you take that cod piece off, you've just got a little twig and berries behind there, my son. Little fucking twig and berries. Doesn't matter how impressive this bloody big lever studded bloody cod piece is, does it? Behind you've got a twig and berries, lad. That's basically what Anthony's like, really, for Manchester United. He's all show and no go. You know, where is where is his ability just to just be mercurial and create and score shitloads of goals? He can't do it, can he? He's actually bang average, if we're being totally honest. Yeah, we spent 85 men on him and he's 10-hour golden boy and he's done some good things. He had some recent decent stats in the past. The guy's pretty shy. Let's just be honest. Go on then, Alejandro. Giving it away. Get up. Love Hannibal's energy, though. Chasing back, but it's a good chance here for Newcastle. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fucking terrible police of play by Manchester United defensively. Gasharama. It's Almiron. Makes it 1-0 for Newcastle. How easy was that for Newcastle? They've cut us open on the break. Counter-attack the shit out of us there. Simple stuff. United all at sea defensively, as we always are. And Eric Ten Hag stands on. Gives it a head wobble and looks like he's about to fucking go and have a session of fucking diarrhea at half time, mate. He looks like he's about to fucking crap his pants because he knows this United side should be doing better here against this fucking B team of Newcastle. What a fucking shit show. And then it's so direct. Look at United's urgency to get back. What the fuck are you doing, Anthony? Anthony, run back, Anthony! Run back, Anthony! Anthony Dos Santos, you shocking human turd! Look at what he's done! Look at what he's done! It's actually not Anthony, it's Dallow. It's Dallow! Dallow's the one who needs to be fucking running back and just doesn't bother me! What the fuck are you doing, Dallow, lad? Diogo Dallow, watch this! It's Dallow, not Anthony! Dallow is the man who needs to be marking his runner and he just lets him go! It's fucking pathetic from Diogo Dallow! Cannot fucking defend this guy! Cannot fucking defend me! <sighs> Go on then, Dallow, 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 Dallow. Teach it up, back stick! Oh, come on! Mason Mount fumbles the bag there. He fumbles his fucking ball bag there instead of putting the ball in the back of that. What a fucking melter. Mm, Marcio commits a foul. Free kick for Newcastle. Newcastle looking the better side in this game so far. I mean, it's a shit performance from both sides, if you ask me. But Newcastle looking the better team. What does that say about United and where we're at right now? It's pathetic. Almiron's done us! Willock manages to get him behind beyond Dallow. Gets a cross in. Shot on goal and sneaked in and in bottom right hand corner. No fucking way. Come on, you piss poor Melton. You fucking shit guys. We're 2-0 down. I don't believe it, mate. It's fucking Hall. Hall makes it 2-0 with a pump shot, mate. He's going to the fucking bottom right hand corner. Fucking unbelievable, mate. Fucking unbelievable, mate. It's fucking unbelievable, mate. You know? Every single time, every single game, we're getting fucking embarrassed, mate, out here. Fucking embarrassed, mate. Fucking embarrassed in here. Every single fucking week, man. Every single shitty fucking game, mate, we're getting embarrassed here. 2 0, easy strike, best point from, from United defensively. Fucking joke. We're, we're penetrated. Look at this. Simple pop shot. Gets beyond Andre Onana. It's pathetic defending again by United. So easy, Amron puts the little ball through to Willock. Willock gets a, a looping little crossing. It's headed down and there's a pop shot on goal from the edge of the area there by Hall. And it's just beyond Onana. Onana, not with a bad, not a good save. It is right in the corner. But look at this defending here. Lindelof, Mason Mount. It's pathetic. Goes between the two of them. Not one of them gets a leg out. Not one of them makes a stop. For fuck's sake. Maguire is so shitty, isn't he? Goodness me, I've been telling you for years, mate! Maguire's a fucking complete breeze block of a slab of a melter, mate! Doesn't deserve to be anywhere near United's 11, though. Does he? Let's be honest. In fact, half of these bloody players, most of these bloody players, they're not United players, are they? Any of them? It's Lindelof and Maguire, Lindelof and Maguire United players? Fuck no!
Meets the Mount United player, fuck no. Anthony United player, fuck no. None of them are actually good enough. Martial United player, fuck no. None of them are bloody good enough to be United players, if we're being totally brutally honest. They need to fuck off immediately. <sighs> Diego Dallow, a United player. Oh my goodness, me. Martial plays an Anthony Dos Santos. Anthony Dos Santos, that's it. No, fuck yourself with a burnt stick. Anthony Dos Santos. Get out. Oh my god! Willich just made it 3 0 to Newcastle! He's lashed one into the bottom right hand corner, mate! And we are witnessing an absolute de de demolition, man! Of a fucking team here, man! This is awful! Manchester United are literally being demolished by Newcastle United right here! It's 3 0 to the Geordie shithouses here! Against Manchester United, the worst Manchester United side I've seen in my life, pretty much here! How are we getting done by Geordie B team? You know what I mean? I'll tell you what, we'd even struggle with if we were playing the cast of fucking Geordie Shaw right now. Never mind Geordie 80 or whatever. Or we'd struggle against fucking Oz and Bomber from Alvida St. Pet for fuck's sake, guys. We're fucking shit. Honestly, we're crap, guys. And to deck might as well strip off for the rest of the fucking game, mate. They'd probably bang a fucking brace or something, mate. Anybody can fucking score against us. They might as well get fucking Cheryl Cole against us for fuck's sake, mate. Do you know what I mean? She might have picked up a couple of fucking skills from Ashley Cole back in the day. She probably can't do any fucking work. She'd probably bang a fucking goal or two. This team's fucking shit. I don't understand how we're getting done so badly here by Newcastle's B-side. For fuck's sake, guys! I mean, I just don't know what I'm watching anymore, guys. We've been fucking pumped raw, mate! We've been fucking pumped raw, bro! Biker Grove could beat Manchester United for fuck's sake. Biker fucking Grove 11 could beat us, mate. Do you know what I mean? The fucking school team. Biker fucking Grove, mate. Ah, you fucking losers, man. Come on, United. Do something. Oh, look at this. On comes the big guns. On comes the big guns. It's Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hoyland. On come the big guns. Goodness me, are these really big guns or are they tiny little fucking Weasley shriveled up guns? I don't know. Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hoyland on paper should have enough about them to turn this game around. But we've got a whole bunch of fucking... We're bringing on the tiny guns, mate. Unfortunately, we're bringing on the fucking tiny guns. Bruno in the last game against City shriveled up like a fucking tiny little penis individual. We're bringing on the fucking water guns. We're bringing on the potato guns. Zami Assi, thanks for the super sticker now. Fuck off, bud. Oh yeah, here comes Rashford. Oh, here comes Rashford, guys. Rashford's coming on the pitch for Garnacho. Here comes Rashford. Watch out. We've just bought the greatest player of fucking feeding people school dinners out there in the world. Oh yeah, Rashford's coming on, guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, there'll be no kid in the stands going hungry tonight. But guess what? The fucking opposition gold mouth will go hungry, mate, because we ain't scoring any fucking gold. Big old shitty Marcus Gatford. He can't even fucking play the game anymore, it seems. This not going to do much, is it? 1,700 people in here. Just fuck off, would you? Honestly. It's only when we bloody get dicked, mate. Get out, you shitty wankers and you Chelsea scumbags and you Liverpool dweebs and you fucking Arsenal and losers. You shit yourselves. All right? I would have a rule if I was manager of Manchester United. No gloves unless it's December or January, you bloody pussies! Super, super chat. Oh, Bruno Fernandes misses a fucking <laughs> sitter! What the fuck? Shit. I've just broken a cup, guys. I don't know what I was doing there. I've broken a fucking cup, guys. Oh shit! I've broken, I've broken Mrs. P's butterfly mug, guys. Fucking hell, she's gonna go spare. Fucking hell, Newcastle nearly make it four nil. There is no co competition taking place here for Newcastle United. They've just turned up and battered us with their B side. 
There's the final whistle. Eddie Howe goes to shake the hand of the much under pressure Eric Ten Hag. And Newcastle United have battered Manchester United 3-0 at Old Trafford. Pure penetrations. United in the mud. Shittest performance you'll see from Man United all season. Along with all the other shit performances we've seen all season. No bottle to our play whatsoever. No belief or cojones that these guys are going to go out there and fight to for nail for the shirt and get something from the game. There was never any belief of that whatsoever. We just gone out there, looked shite, and Newcastle United's B team have trounced all over us. It's a fucking joke. Honestly, what a gash display of football by Ten Hag's lads there. Ten Hag is in the mud right now, whether he likes it or not. He is under pressure. Now, I'm saying we shouldn't sack Ten Hag. What's sacking another manager in a short space of time going to do other than just set us back to square one again? But he's got to do something. We have to go on a run now. If this continues as it is in the next game against Fulham, the pressure and the calls to be sacked will start to come more prominent. That's what's going to happen unless Eric Ten Hag can turn this around right now. I don't really give a shit about getting dumped out the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Who cares? It's more... The nature and the fashion of where Super, Manchester United are right now. The Super style Jack. of play. The fashion of which we're going about it. That's more the concern. The lack of quality in the side. The lack of leaders in the side. All these crumble job merchants out there. These players that some of them are from the previous regime. Some of them Eric Ten Hag's brought in. All melding together and playing like a bunch of individuals. A bunch of strangers. There's nothing... There's nothing befitting a team out there for Manchester United whatsoever. We look like a bunch of strangers and gash strangers of that chucked it together. Might as well be playing the conference all-stars out there against Newcastle United tonight. You know, not a team. Not a true team. And unfortunately, the pressure is mounting on Eric Ten Hag. He can't keep getting bad results like this. He can't keep getting the performances like this that he's getting as well. He is the one selecting the team. He is the one motivating the side. Ten Hag must do better. The players must do better as well. Let's just talk about some of the individuals out there. Anthony Dos Santos. Anthony Dos Santos, you're 85 million quid for fuck's sake. Ten Hag's brought you in because he trusts you and he knows you and he likes you. I don't know why he's probably thought, fucking hell, what has this twat done for me lately? Coming in and performing like a complete jeb end. That's what he's looking at now because he spent 85 million on a turd who can't even use his right foot. And I'm sorry, he's a pathetic player for us all season long. I know he's had off the field issues. Man the fuck up, bro. Do you know what I mean? Perform like a footballer. Marcus Rashford's got his 350k a week contract now and he's fucked off. He's already checked out. He's useless for us again now. Bruno Fernandes is supposed to be one of our leaders. He's the captain of the side. Is he a good enough captain for Manchester United? I honestly genuinely don't think so. Don't think he is a good enough captain for United. I didn't see any leadership from him in the last game or when he's come off the pitch there. Where's his fire to actually get us back in the game? There's nothing going on there. Like the players, the back line. Think of that back line tonight, guys. It's got to be one of the worst defensive setups you've ever seen at United. We're talking Dallow, right back who can't defend. Maguire and Lindelof, proven guff over the course of many years, working together, performing like shite in tandem. And Reguillon, a Spurs loanee. You know, it's like, that is a shit backline, whichever way you look at it. And then the rest of the side, I mean, I'm not bad. I'm, I'm not feeling bad about the selections of Garnacho and Hannibal Mejri and these guys. But everybody to a man has performed like shit tonight. And that's why we've got drubbed up by Newcastle United here and embarrassed by their B side. Is because every single player out there is, is they're not playing together. They're not working as a team. Yes, it seems we're devoid of tactics, but we're certainly devoid of the right personnel in this side. We're devoid of the right players. This is not a set of Manchester United players. All of them, mentality-wise, are bottle merchants. Fucking bottle merchants, guys, to a man. Every single one of them. Not befitting of a United team whatsoever. So, a uh, lot of work to do for Eric Ten Hag here, if he's even going to still be the manager. Who knows if they're going to sack him off or he walks? Who the fuck actually knows? I don't think they're going to do anything like that. They can't afford to sack him off and he deserves time. But we've done a vote throughout the, 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 the chat here, uh, throughout the show, and 51% of the live chat say Ten Hag out, 49% say Ten Hag in. That's where the fan base is at at this moment in time. A lot of people have had enough. I don't see how chopping and changing the manager does anything for Manchester United right now in the short term. I think we've got to look to the future. Let's judge him at the end of the season in my humble opinion it's the owners that are a big problem it's the hierarchy super, it's the players yes Ten Hag's partially responsible of course he is he's having a fucking stinker of course he's partially responsible for how we're playing and his selections and the team and the performances of course he is but it's not just him there's a lot needs fixing at Manchester United. Basically, the whole thing needs burning down and starting again. We need to build a new stadium. We need to buy a whole new set of fucking players, it seems. You know, new owners, new coaching staff, the lot. We genuinely do need a complete redo at this football club. 
Uh, that's how bad it's got. There's not one redeeming feature of this particular squad that we can see week to week, really. Every single man is performing like shit. 